Hello and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. I've done a few uh, reviews on Beach Lane products and they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if I'd like to review uh, any more of their products. So I picked a couple out. Uh, one came in before we left to go camping, so do a quick review on it. Um, I also have the Volterra brand of this, so I want to see which one's better, uh, some positive negatives on both of them. So let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, you got a ratchet strap. The directions, it is the universal RV stabilizer. And let's see what all we got here. Okay, it looks like some legs. Carrying pouch, which I'll tell you what, it's a uh, pretty heavy duty. Almost feels uh, waterproof. And then uh, these are the legs. I'm sorry. There's another leg. And we got some clips. Get rid of this garbage before it blows away. So should we should we get the directions on or just try to put it together? Let's try to put it together. So I'm gonna say this one goes here. And it looks like you have three adjustment for the legs depending on the height of your camper. So we'll take us down to the second one for now. And I could imagine if you had to to get a little more uh, adjustment, you can probably add some more holes here. And then the clips here. More trash. And this looks like it goes through here. Drop the legs. And it has a little clip here for something. I'm not sure what this is for. It looks like maybe it goes on. There's little holes here. It looks like maybe this clip will go here to help hold the uh, pins on. And that is it. And then the theory of this. Okay. Okay, the theory of this is campers on here, whether it's your bumper, frame, Um, it's windy out here. I gotta try to secure everything. And then the ratchet strap. Let me get this together. Okay. All right, the ratchet strap doesn't... All right, the ratchet strap doesn't seem too bad. The webbing on it's pretty thick. It's not real, real thin. Um, it's just a cheap ratchet, but it does have a thick webbing. So then what we do, we yank the pin out. Put that through. Put the pin back in. Come to this side. Do the same thing. We'll put the pin from the other side so you can see what I'm doing. And then once you get it braced under your camper, you uh, try to keep it even. 
and then you just ratchet it. And as you're ratcheting it, it's going to come up and put pressure on the top of your uh, camper and, in theory, stabilize it. So let's take a look at the directions. I'm getting tired of looking underneath this thing. All right, so we did everything what the directions said. Um, they do have this part here. I'll have Becky uh, zoom in on it. Minimum height is 12 to 16 inches. Mid range is 16 to 21. And then max is 21 to 26 and a half. And that is determined by your uh, whatever hole you have your pin set in. Now, they want you to have the legs between a 45 and a 60 degree angle. So if you look at the very bottom, you definitely don't want the legs pointing in. You don't want them going straight down and you don't want them expanded out too much. So keep it between 45 and 60 degree angle. All right, let's uh, go try it out and see how it works and uh, I'll get an idea as to how it compares to the Volterra. Okay, so basically what you want to do, you want to get this under here. Now, I'm going to say that we could probably go out a little bit here. Let's see. Too far. Let me get it adjusted right. That's going to be too, too much. Yeah. Like where we're at, we're yeah. All right, it's not too bad. Okay. All right, let's get it in, and uh, we are extended fully, so let's get it in here and see what we have. And I could say one thing right now. Um, the Volterra, the same thing I don't like with it is the same thing with this. This moves around a lot. It'd be nice if it put some type of strap on here. I know a lot of places you won't be able to strap it, but uh, I've been thinking about putting Velcro straps on the Volterra just to hold it in there so I can get everything set up. So what we want to do, we get it in place. Center it up the best you can. not too bad give it a pull and that's it it's pretty solid let's do a push test on the camper and then I'll do a push test after we take it back out okay now this is with the uh, stabilizer in So there's some movement, but really not that bad. You can't get all the movement out. The only way to do that is put it, put it up on a foundation. Okay, another thing you can do, um, the ground's uneven. So if, if you had to, which I do this a lot, can use these to put, put it up on. Uh, that might, might be why it might be a good idea to add additional holes. You can get a little bit more uh, adjustment out of it. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty good. Um, the price on it, I wrote down the price of both Volterra and this one, and I left it at home. So I will put it here in a video somewhere the price for both, and I will have links in the description for both. Um, if you're here for a while, you might have to come out and tighten this up a little bit. It's going to sink. 
All right, so let's do a test with, uh, without it. All right, now this is without the uh, stabilizer. So there is a notice, noticeable difference. Back to the table. And as you can see, it's not just for the back. You can put it on the front. You can put it on the sides. Um, as you can see, the angle, you're definitely out of range on this, so you would definitely need the uh, blocks to put the feet up on, but it will work. Okay, I walked over to our friend's gay camper just to see if it would work on her steps, and um, it, it will. I don't want to say it doesn't, but with these ends not being supported, Right now, what it's doing is it's pushing this down. So what you would have to do is maybe put a one by one by four going across here, and then that'll help support this so that this doesn't pull down. As I tighten it, it just keeps wanting to go more and more. It's only gonna go so far. These pins are holding it, but it's only aluminum. So you, you don't really wanna push it that much. So. Um, it, and a pinch it would, would work, and it would probably take the uh, shaking out of the camper when someone's going in and out. So, all right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're still a gaze camper. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> okay. Okay, now she has a uh, tube bumper with the spare tire. Now, you won't be able to put this dead center because of the spare tire, but you can put it off to whatever side it'll, it'll fit on. I don't think it'll affect it any. Um, it should keep the tra trailer pretty steady. All right, she also has a receiver hitch under here. Now it's far enough below the bumper, it's not gonna interfere with anything. So it'll still work here. It's not in the center, but it'll still work. All right, so let's get this uh, packed up uh, back in the bag and see how, how everything fits. I don't know if this thing will stay together or if we gotta take the feet off also, legs, feet. I'm thinking we might be all right. So let's move that this way. It won't fit in. All right, let's try this and see how it fits. I'm going to say the legs have to come off. You don't want to be doing this at, at your uh, campsite at 11 o'clock at night. All right, let's get this in. That's good. That should be good. Can I make a suggestion? Make a suggestion. Maybe you should have put that first piece in the other, the other way, way. So that the bigger part was down the end. Okay, I don't know if you heard what she said, but she said maybe put the first piece in with the foot down and then the next one with the foot up. We're gonna try that. Okay, spin this around this way, wrap the strap. Okay, put the pins in. And that's it. So it really wasn't too bad. Um, you see multiple ways you can hook it up and then you can use the uh, Lego blocks to build it up a little bit more if you had to. Um, the gaze steps, um, being it wasn't as wide, 
The sides were pulling up and pushed down in the middle, so you'd need a one by four or something going across there, but it, it would work. Um, the difference between the two, they're both basically the same. This breaks down smaller, and which is uh, part of the uh, con, because now if you're not covering the whole length of it, you have that pivot in the center. But I don't think that's any big deal. Like I said, I will put the prices of each uh, in the video and in the description, I will put the link. Okay, so all in all, would I recommend it? Yeah, you know, it's a good product. Um, if I remember, uh, the price isn't too bad either. So, all right, so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.